Now we're going to have a look at how we can control the display or the presentation of the surface within the drawing. To do this we're going to go to the Outputs tab. Now by default the software will load in a style for us which has been predefined. If we want to change the style that's being used or make an override to the style that's currently being used we can use the Load or Save Style buttons. In this instance we're just going to load in a style so we're going to click on the Load Style button. We're sent to our common folder, so all of the styles that we create are going to be saved here, which means that whenever we open up another project, um, or if we're sharing our common folder, uh, we can all have access to the same styles every time. We're going to click on the following style and click on Open. Immediately, we will have seen a change in the drawing. Uh, this is because things like the contour interval has probably changed and even things like the layer names have also been uh, redefined. So we can actually set up our own layers. Now whilst these objects are not CAD objects as such, they are created by us, they are still being placed onto layers, so they are subject to layer control if you wish. In the Contours and Mesh tab, we can turn on and off the triangulation of our surface to visualize. We can also go in and change contour values, change colors and also change layers, so it's entirely customizable. Down the bottom we can add our own contours, so for example maybe we wanted to display a water level of some sort or a building level um, and find out where that level was being displayed, we can do that. On the contours and labels tab at the moment, by default with the style we've got the major contour labels being drawn. At the moment they're being displayed just at the start and at the end. Now if we just pan into the drawing we should be able to see those labels being added in. What we may want to do is see, say, uh, some of the minor contours being displayed. So we'll check those on. They're being drawn at the start and at the end. Maybe we want to see some contour labels being added along the contours themselves. And in this instance, we can check on the mid box. And under spacing, that's set to 100. So basically every 100 you will be seeing a label being added on to the contours. Let's click on update labels and you can see those being drawn every 100 for us. We won't add them on the minor just because it can become too cluttered. What we can however do is add in again our own user contour labels um, and add those in where we want to. On the slopes and arrows tab, we'll just check on the show slope arrows. So both of these options uh, for slope shading and slope arrows will help define where we have certain slopes within the drawing. Checking on show slope arrows will pre-populate a small table for us. If we click on update display, the software will go ahead and draw arrows for us at these particular slopes with the particular color assigned to them, which we can entirely customize by clicking on setup table and change if we wish. Let's uncheck Show Slope Arrows and click on Update Display. It's important you don't click on Build Surface every time you're working through the Outputs tab because really what Build Surface is doing is looking for changes to the objects that are defining the surface. So we don't need to be clicking Build Surface, we're simply updating the display. Let's click on the Heights and Directions tab and click on Show Height Shading. What we'll need to do here is click on Setup Table. The idea is that we can break the surface down into bands of color depending on the elevations and the software has automatically picked up the minimum elevation and the maximum elevation from our surface which we can change if we wish and then by default the software will break down that surface into five bands of solid color. Let's click on OK and then update display to see the result. You can see there how the coloring is being added in. This particular tool is very useful when it comes to creating volume surfaces we can ask the software to show cut, i.e. everything below zero in uh, uh, one color, and then show everything in fill or everything above zero in a different color, so it can be a very, very useful tool. For the time being, let's uncheck Show Height Shading, click Update Display, and that's really just a quick overview of how we can use the Outputs tab in the Surface Manager form.